Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. Dr. Klein, how is our son? Oh, one second, you guys, one second. We're just really anxious to see Adam. It's been three months. It, what's, what have you found out? You've had him for three months. Absolutely. What I need to know, what did... Adam's fine. Adam is fine. He's doing absolutely fine. Okay. As you know, we were conducting several tests. We have one final test that we need to run. Um, and uh, But up to this point, we can determine with a, about 98% accuracy that your son is, in fact, invincible. Wait, what did you say? He's invincible. He cannot be killed. We've tried. Are you sure? We're not sure. We're not sure at all. Okay, so there's a chance that he's not. There's a chance that he's not. Uh, there's about a 2% chance that he's not. We've conducted okay. a series of tests. Would you like to hear some of the things? Yeah. Uh, we've shot him in the face. He's been stabbed in the stomach by the entire staff. We dropped him down a flight of stairs. Um, pushed him down a flight of stairs, shoved him down a flight of stairs, uh, we swung him down a flight of stairs, we, we, com we completely drained him of all blood. Um, he's been drowned in several different liquids. We fed him to a shark. We fed him into a wood chipper, head first, feet first. We threw him out of an airplane. We threw him into an airplane. We pinched him a lot. Oh. Please just tell me you didn't tickle it. We definitely didn't tickle him. We gave him the Ebola virus, AIDS, indigestion, paper cuts, paintball, pancreatic cancer. We drew and quartered him. We jumped him into a gang. Does he have to stay in the gang? Do they allow six-year-olds in gangs? He was jumped in. You don't get out of a gang after being jumped in. We stabbed him with a swordfish. We built a building around him and left <clears> him in there and sealed it off with caulking so that there would be no air. And then we set that building on fire. And he was fine. <laughs> yes! Andy, what's the matter with you? He's invincible. Do you know what this means? This... I know exactly what this means. It's horrible. No, it isn't. He's never going to have to struggle for anything. He's never going to have to worry about where his money is going to come from. He's not going to have to call his mom to help with rent. He doesn't have money growing out of his wrist. He's like, that doesn't... He's invincible. He could fight a bear for cash. There is one final test. There's one final test that we're actually in the process of conducting right now. I should be getting a call. Um, very shortly. Do it. As to yeah. Yes. Okay. No. He. I want him to be Wait, invincible. This is going to be. What kind of test is it? Does it matter? What kind of? What kind of test? What more could you do? Uh, the test is nuclear in nature. Um, nuclear in nature. Yes. Uh, it is an atom bomb. And we figured the only way to be one hundred percent conclusive that your son is in fact invincible is to, um, you know, drop a bomb and, in his face. And this way, we'll know for sure. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get yeah. an answer. Our yeah. son is never going to have to worry about anything. He's going to watch all of his friends and family die yeah. right before his eyes, year after year after year. It's a blessing and a curse. These are the results. Okay. No matter what the results are, we're going to love our son. Yeah. Whether he's just a kid or he's invincible. Excellent. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay. His mother will be very proud. Oh. <laughs> uh. <sighs> it's good to be done. Um, so the test results have come back. Uh, the final test has been completed, and uh, we can now say with 100% certainty that your son, in fact, is not invincible. Oh, God. Dead as he can get. <laughs>